Wow. That's a very fiery one straight away. Uh, wicket looks really good at the moment. It looks a sporting wicket at this stage. But knowing subcontinent, it can change now to the first day. Give us a lot of confidence coming into this series. Uh, not because of the, the outcome of the series. The way we play that series, the way we handled certain situations. We were behind the game in both test matches and then how we come back. And then the people that who contribute different times. Um, give us a lot of uh, belief in the, for for this series. I, uh, yeah, I think this probably the most uh, rounded uh, team that uh, produced from Bangladesh um, in my previous time and this time. Um, you rightly said that we cover in a lot of bases. We got good fast bowlers. We got really experienced spin attack, um, and then the batting um, uh, we. We actually have a batting deck because of two reasons. One is that um, two of our spinners are genuine batters who got test hundreds, and then two of our the wicket keepers who are main batters. So our balance of the team uh, this series is really really good, and that gives us actually a lot more confidence that we can be competitive in this series. Yeah, I think it's it's a long process. It's not just happen overnight. Uh, uh, previous coaches before me has done a lot of work and then even the board has uh, invested in uh, programs that uh, finding fast bowlers and I know the domestic cricket had some uh, uh, kind of rules that you have to keep certain amount of grass on the pitches local games and then they change the ball uh, they play in domestic cricket uh, in, in so all these factors I think help the fast bowlers to enjoy their cricket and then um, have success so that that success breed the selectors and the who is in the authority to uh, like look at on those bowlers and we have another few actually back home and one of our best bowlers is still injured um, so when all of these guys are available it's really um, pleasing to see that we have that uh, depth in pass bowling yes Shakib always played a huge part in Bangladesh cricket um, uh, whenever he is available and playing well, um, I mean, obviously, give us uh, uh, give us like luxury to balance the team the way we want, whether we wanted to play extra bowler or extra batsman, um, uh, because of his all-round capabilities. So he gives uh, that adaptability as well as I mean, huge experience. He, I mean, he had probably the one of the longest international players going around, and then he's coming from uh, playing county. Uh, matches and he's in a good shape, so he brings a lot, lot, uh, lot into the team. Not only his skill set, but otherwise as well. He has Miraj as well. Yeah, as Miraj, I would say is most improved Bangladesh cricketer for last five six years. Um, uh, he's, I mean, ready to take over whenever Saki move out. I think he, he has developed his batting, um, and obviously his bowling has always been. Um, uh, his strength is number one. Now I think he's um, improved his batting as well, and then on the field he's gun gun fielder. Uh, I won't say uh, only me. There's a lot of people behind that, and the Tigers program started uh, before me, before I uh, came this time. But but previous time I felt that we need something like that because of the cricketing structure in Bangladesh. They we don't have a center um, like province-based system, the all central base. So if, if you are not in the first 25 or in, in any of the squad, you might not get the same facilities as uh, the, those 25. But then board has done this Tigers program recently and it's, it's actually helping the other players like, so as you said, like white ball players now back home training precisely for the series. So that um, my coaching staff and I have some input, like what we want from that particular series, where we're going with the 50 over T20. We have a lot of communication going back and forth, and then the local coaches are doing a great job and uh, implementing those uh, plans.